a loss for e-cigarette maker Juul seen as a big gain for young people. A two-year bipartisan investigation ended today with Juul ordered to split a $438 million settlement between dozens of states, including Wisconsin. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore joins us in the studio with more. Michelle. Natalie, harsh words were spoken about what Juul did. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services secretary calling the company's marketing manipulative and harmful, saying it exposed middle and high schoolers to the dangers of nicotine and addiction. But Juul is not out of business despite the investigation's outcome. The Juul settlement comes with strict guidelines, including refraining from youth marketing, no cartoons in their ads, and no social media advertising unless the testimonial is from someone over age 35. Once a dominant player in the vaping industry, Juul products now make up just a small section of this smoke shop on South 27th Street. The entire wall behind them is filled with other brands selling their own flavored varieties. This is a fume. Okay, so how long have you been using these? Probably a year now. With so many companies making flavored e-cigarettes, Danny Munoz wonders why Juul is the only one on the hook. Kind of sucks for them. Yeah, all there's different different brands, different flavors, so they, they all have, the flavors never stop. After criticism arose in 2019 that young smokers were looking at tobacco like candy, Juul pulled most flavors, but not menthols. Opponents say menthols need to go too. So many kids who were using other flavors simply moved. And today, even more kids have become addicted to the menthol flavored products that are still on the market. As long as Juul is allowed to continue to market menthol flavored e-cigarettes, our kids will remain at risk. According to the American Lung Association, one in four high school students in 2019 said they tried e-cigarettes. That dropped during COVID, but there's concern the number could rise, and that's what they're trying to avoid. It seems that uh, high schoolers and um, and then middle schoolers have been switching to different products now, too. So, like, a Puff Bar is now the number one um, uh, e-cigarette product among kids, I believe. So, uh, Jules kind of faded into the background in that regard. Now, Wisconsin will receive over $14 million from this settlement. Attorney General Josh Call says that the agreement brings accountability for Jules' conduct. The American Lung Association hopes that this money will be used for vaping prevention efforts. Back to you, Natalie.